and welcome into PBA TV. Gary Aid here with you as we're getting set for an off-season tournament game one. You have the Lakers and the Tiburones taking it to the court in Chihuahua. Great to have you aboard. Again, Gary Aid here with you. Lakers in their home white, the Tiburones in their black road uniforms. Um, the rosters tonight for tonight's game, first with the Lakers, number one, Jeremy you right. Number four is J. Tuan Williams. Number 49 is Mecca Amen. Number 52, Nathan Pretty. Number 58, Shane Pretty. Number 59, Damian Fulp. Number 69, Chuck Obunsi. If I said that right, I apologize if I didn't. Um, number 71, Aaron Williams. And number two, Justin Vaughn. For the Tiburones in black again, you have number two, Christian Williams. Number three, Francisco Mediavilla. Number five, Khalil McCormick. Number 10, Yaatwi Busako. Number 12, you may remember from the PBA season, Sean Gardner. Number 14, Steve Wharton Jr. Number 16, Derek Brown. And number 26, Christopher Collins Jr. So those are today's rosters. Looking forward to the opening tip, which is moments away. We'll be back with that after this here on PBA TV. Alrighty, welcome back to PBA TV. Gary Aid with you as you see the logos of the two teams. Again, the Lakers in their home whites, the Tiburones in the black uniforms. We get set for opening tip at center court. Lakers and Tiburones. Balls in the air, tapped out of bounds. And it will be, we'll say Tiburones basketball. So we'll get first possession. So we get set for game number one of this seven game tournament. Mid-court, first possession of the game, Tiburons, a screen set up top, ball play, down into the corner, one on one defense, post on the block, couple of dribbles, nice movements to the lane, kick out cross court, wide open three is good, nice opening sequence for the Tiburons, now the Lakers get their first crack at it, down three. Now, good defense, nice look down low, good catch, good recovery by the defense, and a three on the way is good. From the near side, it's Shane Pretty. And we're all tied at three. 10 minute quarters. Nice pass down low. Good recovery by the defense. It stays with the Tiburones. That was a great play all around by both sides. Good offense and good defense. Defense recovered nicely, forcing the reset. On that reset, ball gets in bounds to the top of the circle for Gordon. Now, far side in the corner. Williams. Williams keeps his dribble, drives to the lane, lays it up on the floater. No good, a lot of contact, no call. Here come the Lakers. Chance for the lead. Into the front court. Ball off the knee, recovers. Now hands it back. One on one. Dribble to the right. For the post, finds. Spin move, no look pass, top of the circle. Three gets up quickly. A little bit short to the left. Long rebound carries to the Timberwolves. Footer from the elbow, rolls off the side of the rim, rebounded by the Lakers. Still tied at three, a little under two gone by here in the first. Into the front court, tacking the rim, going to the basket, off the window, no good. Contact all over the place, no foul is called. Lakers get a second shot at it, again leave it short. Here come the Tiburones, off the rebound. Here they end to the front court, far side corner, wide open three is up, and good, nice play. Good secondary break as they would call that. Good delayed fast break more appropriately. And it's now six to three. Trying to answer real quick. Quick shot and it's good. That's Nathan Pretty. So a couple of pretty jumpers, no pun intended, from Nathan and Shane. And you have a 6-6 six, six score. 7.45 to go in the first. Nice pocket pass down low. Good catch, good finish. What a play, nice pick and roll. And that puts McCormick on the board giving the Tiburones a two-point lead, but right back at it, another three, and it's nine to eight. Three threes so far for the Lakers. Five of the made baskets so far have all been threes. Only one has not, that last layup. And a quarter. And a 
pass unexpected. Ball is on the ground, and the Lakers come away. Caught his guy off guard there, attacking the rim, going straight to the body, and finishing strong. Nice move by Kunsi. Dribble, gets into the lane, goes up with the right hand, is fouled in the process. I believe that's gonna be a shooting foul, so he'll head to the line. Lakers are up three, it's 11 to eight. So there will be two free throws coming up for Gardner, our first trip to the foul line for either team tonight. And it comes just over three minutes into this game. Gardner makes the first. Beautiful facilities here. You're looking at the, this court, beautiful blue and yellow. Nice open space, great lighting, great place for a basketball game. Gardner makes both. So it's a one point game. Lakers on top with the ball. A little full court defense being applied, a little denial defense by Gardner. Now the Lakers get it in, and they'll recede with the Tiburones back into their half court defensive set. Back in the circle, pretty. This is his dribble, gets it back. Gardner on him like right on Rice. Pretty gets it off. No good, an air ball. But they're going to call a foul. Gardner knows it, loses the left hand. That's the first on Gardner. But they're going to say it was on the floor. So the inbound on this one for the basket. He's getting in. This move spinning into the lane. Coming up. Strong move again. Chuck Uberstein again. Two baskets in a row for him, it's 13 to 10. Gardner. On the far side, high post. A baseline turnaround, oh good. Now I'll tell you something, even though Eddie Avila missed that shot, that is a shot that if you're looking to get to the next level as a big man, is pretty knocks out of a contested three. If you're looking to get to the next level as a big man, that is a shot that you will do well to have in your bag. That is a very important shot for big men at the high levels of basketball. Baseline fade away. Crossover from Gardner, right to left. Steps back just inside the three-point line. No good. Rebounded by the Lakers. Uberstein with the rebound. Nice pass down low. Nice running the court. Great play. Good ball movement. And Burright with the basket. And the Lakers have now gone on a nice run. They've opened this up to 18 to 10. We're less than halfway through the first quarter. Good pressure. Defense being applied by the Lakers, one-on-one. -on -one. I thought you might have to get a timeout there, but they do get it away. Top of the circle coming around. That screen is McCormick, and it has it stolen away. Coming back the other way, wide open layup for the Lakers, and just like that, Nathan Pretty puts, up, puts the Lakers up by 10, and we do have a timeout. It's a 10 point game. 20 to 10, just under halfway through the first quarter on PBA TV. So 5.04 to go in the first. As we've watched the first few minutes of this game, guys, one thing that I've noticed is the certitude with which the Lakers are executing their half-court offense. Their offense looks like it knows what it wants on almost every possession, and they're not wasting time doing it. So what might look like a rushed shot to you or a uh, unnecessary early shot to you, and there's been a couple that have looked that way to me as well. Not, I don't mean to say that in an accusatory way, but what might look to a rush shot by us is actually very intentional in this type of offense. This is a very um, timing and pace-based offense from what I'm seeing, and it's being very well executed. So those early quick threes are very much intentional. The coach is not upset about those. So the Lakers have used that quick acting, very assertive and confident offense to get out to this 10 point lead. Let's see if the Tiburons can make a game of it yet. They're only down 10, still lots of game left. Almost the whole game left ahead of us. Over across the screen, kick it out. Top of the circle, good rhythm shot. No good, but falls right into the hands of the Tiburons who get it back into the rim and it goes down for Gardner after the rebound by Williams. So Gardner off the Williams offensive rebound and pass gets the old fashioned and one. He'll have a chance at three right here. Need the two, it's down to eight. And Gardner makes his third free throw of the game. It's now 20 to 13. 
Freddy gets it way up ahead, and that's bad transition defense from the Tiburones. Good job leaking out by Midi Avila, but, uh, it's, it's, but uh, bad offense overall. Excuse me, that was not Avila. That was the men, excuse me. And now back the other way off another bad play from the Tiburones, and now just like that, we have a 11 point. with their largest lead of the night. And again, as the Tiburons look like they're considering a substitution here, as the Gardner's walking off the court, a couple of guys Save there, so we'll be the basket. Coming across the middle. We have 30 seconds to go. And point game into the lane off the leg. It looked like they're going to say it went off the Lakers. I'll tell you what, that looked like he might have just dribbled it off his own leg. That was Derek Brown who inbound it. I believe it was Brown who dribbled it. Either way, Derek Brown was inbounding it and nearly turned it over. Kind of threw it to nobody. Williams able to chase it down, gets it down into the paint. Cut. Swarming defense from the Lakers, and they take it away from McCormick. Here they come the other way. Vaughn with the ball being harassed. Gets it off for Pretty. Pretty into the lane, dribbles in, kicks out. Wide open three is up, and no good. Good shot, though, by Williams. Rebounded by Tiburon. Into the front court, being held in by Brown. Brown now puts the ball on the floor, kicks it out top of the circle. Lakers forced to give it up is Whitten. Gets it to his left. Dribble standoff. Good defense again. Nowhere to go on offense. Tough shot. That was great defense, but what an offensive rebound for the Timberwolves. What a play by Wooden. That was the most important thing to happen in that possession. A bad possession ends well for the Timberwolves off the putback. Good pass down low by Pretty. Kicks back out, but it's taken away. Now all of a sudden the Timberwolves defense coming alive. Breakaway layup is missed. Oh, what a miss by Wooden. I'll tell you what, they needed that one right now. Or maybe that was Brown, excuse me, on the miss. And now that was a tough one to miss. Momentum, you felt, was maybe going toward the Tiburones. And now a miss like that could change it all over again. With a, a miss back on the other end by Williams and a rebound by the Tiburones. Brown kicks it to the top of the circle. That might be a two. Either way, it's no good. Rebound in traffic by the Lakers, throwing it way down court. Good use of the body, sealing and finishing by Williams. I'll tell you what, this Laker team knows how to fast break. It's 26-15. The NBA Lakers could use some tutorial lessons on this, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Under three to go in the first. Even point game, Lakers on top. Step back three. Williams makes it. Nice shot from Christian Williams, and it's back to single digits. Bounce pass down low, fade away, spin is good. Man, what a shot. And that was Nathan Pretty. I'll tell you what, that was a beautiful shot from him. Tough shot to make. And to 10, 28-18. Pass into the lane, lots of congestion down there. Bad pass, take it away. But there was some contact, let's see the call. Looks like they're going to Give it to the Lakers. So, didn't get exactly the, what the call was, but it was obviously a contact foul, and here come the Lakers after the turnover. Three-pointer is up. Short, no good. Rebound off the long camera. Uh, Tim Burrell, he's gonna come across midcourt. Into the front court, driving into the lane. Finished, no, again. Tough miss at the rim. Derek Brown has that one roll out on him. A little extra spin on it. But he'll go to the line trying to get the two points that way. It's 28 to 18. Minute 41 to go in the first.
crowd noise here. Silent earlier. Now we get a crowd noise. And the first free throw is good. The other way, it's stripped out of bounds. I believe this could be the last touch by Williams of the Lakers. So good defense by Williams getting back and getting a hand on there, not going to fall out of bounds. Not the defense to reset. 29 seconds to go in the first, 10 point game. Lakers up by 10. Lakers in the white uniforms as a three is up by the Tiburones. No good. Rebound, it comes down to the Lakers. Shot clock, I believe, is down. One more possession of the shot clock. There's about 15 seconds on the shot clock, about a second or so difference, two second difference or so, shot and game clock. Tough mid range shot. Nice one. What a shot by the Lakers as the final seconds tick down. That one, I believe, will not count. I don't think they're going to count that, although they might say a foul before the quarter. I'm really not sure. I think they will have to get word on that. But either way, free throws coming here as we tick down to the end of the uh, first quarter here. First free throw is up and good by Wooten. And they did count it. So yes, it was an end one. The shot by Wooten counted at the end. The free throw is good as well. And that takes us to the second quarter. Lakers on top here on PBA TV. All right, quarter number two, PBA TV, Gary Aid with you. And the Lakers up by 10. There's your score widget on the left-hand side as a three is launched. No good. Rebounded by the Tiburones. And it was Collins on that rebound. Into the lane. Driving. Losing the ball. Gets it back. Shot is up. Corner three. No good. And rebounded by the Lakers. And we have a whistle. 32-23. Looks like this was during the previous possession, so it will still be Laker basketball. A little hesitation move by Vaughn, gets to the lane, tries to finish, can't do it, misses badly off the top of the window, and here come the Tiburones, three-point shot is up, no good by Collins, long rebound comes out, and trying on a backdoor cut, bad pass, and a turnover, here come the Lakers, Floater in the lane, no good by Vaughn. Tipped around a couple of times. Rebound comes out to Fulp. He loses it. And it's taken away by Collins. Collins gives it up near side. On the ball now is Brown. Brown gets into the lane, tries to finish, can't do it. Offensive rebound is back up and good, but I believe the foul was on the floor. Good effort either way from Wooten. Tries the old go stand at the free throw line, maybe trick people, but now the ref says on the floor. So it will be an inbound to the 
left of the Timberwolves, uh, Timberwolves basket. Excuse me. Thirty-two twenty-five. As we get set here on a official reset, and now they're going to say it's the Laker basketball. Wow, a quick change after a discussion, and it's Laker ball. So 32-25, interesting turn of events. We'll see if the Lakers capitalize on the possession. Top of the circle, nice catch, pull up by Vaughn, but leaves it short, badly short at that. Tiburones thought they had it, but it was taken away. Going back up on the rebound is Williams. He is fouled. Again on the floor. Nice entry pass. Good ball fake, pump fake by Vaughn. And he draws the obvious contact. Not much has happened in the first couple of minutes of this second quarter, a minute and a half anyway. And we are at 32-25. It was 30-20 to at halftime at the end of the first. And after a bad miss, uh, offensive putback is right there. Fortuitous miss, to say the least. And nearly losing it out of bounds on the Tiburones. They're able to save it. And into the lane off a bounce pass. Now far side kick out. No good on the shot. But a foul on the jump shooter. You hate to see that. It's become more common over the years. As Derek Brown will be going to the line. So Derek Brown... I didn't catch if that was a three or a two. His foot might have been on the line. We'll find out together. But for the time being, it's a nine-point Laker advantage. Make it eight after Brown makes the first. Thirty-four twenty-six. Brown makes two. Looks like the players are unsure as well as us if it's two or three free throws. But it is going to be three. It looks like the whole players like broke up. The other was, that was it. But nope. Three free throws it will be. So they reline up in the free throw formation. And Brown makes the third. Both teams still perfect from the foul line. And now it's just a six-point game. Free throws cut it close. 34-28. Some conversation. And there we go. We get it in for Williams. The Lakers get it across midcourt. Williams with the ball. Keeps his dribble right to left. Back to left to right. Kicks it into the near side corner. Looking around. Surveying as I'm in. Amen tries to get it around, does. Top of the circle now for Williams. Williams attacking, dishing, dishing off to Fulp. Good hard drive to the basket by Damian Fulp. Nice pass, and will head to the line. Fulp and Williams connecting there at a nice two-man game. Lakers looking to re-extend this lead back to eight. Well, excuse me, back to, yeah, back to eight. I could do math there would help, but the first free throw miss of the night for either team now belongs to Fulp, so it stays at 34-28, which for those of you more gifted in math than me is, is a six-point, not an eight-point advantage. After the second miss, the Lakers end up with it again. Fulp launches, and to no avail, he did have to beat the shot clock there, so... So with the six-point deficit and the ball, here come the Tiburones. Into the lane, a dunk attempt. Oh, man, that would have been nasty. But he can't get it to go. Brown, I believe they're going to call a foul, though. I think he'll shoot free throws again. He just made three a moment ago. Yeah, I believe they're going to say this is in the act. Yes, they are. Brown makes the first. Second is good as well. So it's now 34-30. And uh, just an unexcusable defensive lapse by the Tiburones. Closest they've been 
really since the start of this game, down only four. And then an uncontested runaway layup by the Lakers. Makes it 36-30. A long three from the Tiburons. No good. Ball tipped, taken by the Lakers. Coming across midcourt, looking to make something happen is Amen. Kicks it out. Far side. Three is up. Long three. Goes over the backboard. That was still in bounds until it went over the line out of bounds, though, because it did not hit the top of the backboard. It can go over. It just can't hit the top. 36-30. Lakers and Tiburones. Close game here in this PBA preseason tournament. Good move around by Brown. Kicks it out. Far side. Corner three. Up. Bounces out of bounds. Like that one should have been called out of bounds. It was not. And they Lakers do a good job saving it off the leg. But that, that was out of bounds because they hit the top of the backboard. All right. Either way, it's 36-30. Under seven minutes to go in the half. Good move into the lane. Up and under. Nice adjustment midair, but can't get it to go. Williams, nice pass off the offensive rebound. He's trapped again. Good defense from the Tiburones. They have to kick it out. Shot clock under 10. Down to seven. Lakers still looking to make something happen. Now down to four. Down to three. And a wide open layup to end the possession. That was the best defensive possession of the day for the Tiburones. And yet it ends with a put-in layup from point blank range. Those can be demoralizing. It's 38-30, six and a half to go in the first half. Good defense from the Lakers. Cross court pass, dangerous one, but it gets there. Into the lane, attacking, trying to go up with the floater. Nice finish off the window by Derek Brown. It's 38-32, crossover dribble. Good move into the lane. Good defense by the Tiburones to keep them from making any kind of progress. But now in the corner and a driving kick. A little adjustment and floater in the lane. No good. But then an offensive putback is good from Shane Pretty. So it's 38. Now make that 40-32. Lakers on top by eight. And a bad shot. At least missed badly off to the left. And Brittany misses that one in return. Couple of missed threes back to back. One for either team. Into the attack space come the Tiburones, McCormick. And he makes him pay. Good shot from McCormick. It's now 40 to 34. Cross midcourt is Amen. He has the ball. Kicks it to the top. Back to Williams. Williams holds his dribble. Switches hands. Switches back over. Crosses over into the lane. Kicks out. Wide open. Mid-ranger is no good. Offensive rebound from Amen. He'll go wide open three. And it's no good. A good shot, but doesn't get it to go. And it's still a six-point game. Under five to go in the half. Good pass. Little push shot. No good. Rebounded by the Lakers. I'll tell you, both teams have struggled pretty mightily from that in-between area, which may be not surprising given the um, level of attention or lack thereof that that area is given in the modern game. After a scrum on the floor, I believe it's going to be, I think they're going to say Laker basketball. A couple of fresh bodies in there. You see uh, Nathan Pretty back for the Lakers. Christian Williams back for the Tiburones. Approaching halftime. Down in the lane. Moving across the lane. Floating it up. Yes. What a move. Nice play. And the Lakers back up by eight. Into the corner. High post. Now to the low post. Double team. Getting down into the lane on the floater is Gardner. It was kind of a running floater, almost like a finger roll. And there was some contact there. They're going to say it's against the Lakers, so Gardner will shoot two. Under four to go in the half. Eight-point game, Lakers on top. Gardner makes the first. 
42-35, seven point game. Now make it a six point game after Gardner makes the second. Lakers trying to make something happen. Three is up. Spins out and it'll go out of bounds. So the Tiburones have been as close as four this half. Or this quarter, I should say. They're trying to get there or less again with the three. And a turnover. It's not going to do it. Ball hit the out, out of bounds line. And it will be back to the Lakers. Forty-two, thirty-six, And a good defensive sequence there for the Tiburones as they come away with the steal. Going back the other way. Blocked from behind. What a hustle block. It'll still be Tiburone basketball, but wow, great job getting back by the Lakers. It's an excellent play. And that was Burright with that block. And now, uh, after a quick score, the Lakers tried to come back, but no, a steal, and Gardner tries a three. That one's no good. Ball is taken by Burright, has a strip from behind, taken away by the Tiburones. Now Gardner into the corner, spinning. Good recovery defense. Tries to get to a man cutting, and it goes out of bounds. Was it off the hands of Wooten, or was it off the Laker defense? They'll say it was off the Lakers. And we have a quick timeout, 2.45 to go in the half. 42-39 here on PBA TV. All right, after the timeout, it will be inbound from underneath the basket. Tiburones get it in. Down three. It's the closest they've been since the opening minutes of this one. They'll try a two. No good. Rebounded by the Lakers. Under three to go. Into the front court. It's pretty. He'll try a three. Bounces around and rolls in. He gets the shooter's touch. Does Nathan pretty. And it's back to five. 45-39. And the reset Gardner gets it into the post. Back to the basket. Kick out. Nice kick out pass. Driving into the lane off of the pass from McCormick. But unfortunately the ball goes out of bounds. I think that was Wooden on the attack. It was. Gardner gets it into the short corner. Quick ball fake. They're going to say he missed the step out of bounds. Or is there some contact with the hand? And it looks like contact with the hand. So it will be a side out. Ball will stay with the Tiburones. Or are we in the uh, penalty situation? Yes, we are. So there'll be free throws. We stand corrected. It's 45 41. First free throw is no good. Four point game. Tiburones have been as close as. Three. Now they adjust the score. I guess the score is wrong. Now it's back to a six-point game just like that. And after two misses, it's an offensive rebound. Gardner gives a ball fake. Steps into a rhythm jumper. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound is tapped. Can't get controlled. But then he gets controlled by the Tiburones. Great job staying with it. And they'll go to the line. Great energy on the offensive glass. I believe it's McCormick who eventually came down with it and will shoot the free throws. So this last two minutes and change of the half is kind of taking its time. Both teams getting very physical now. A lot of stoppages, a lot of free throw attempts. Both teams really ratcheting up the effort level on the defensive end and around the basket for rebounds and putback opportunities right now the last couple of minutes. And you love to see that. 
McCormick made the first. It's now a five-point game. And the second one is also good. So back to four, 45-41. Lakers throw it up ahead. And a breakaway opportunity is good as it is Williams on the conversion. 47-41. Behind the back, Christian Williams. No relation. Gets into the front court. Kicks it out for Gardner. Gardner with a quick ball fake. Gets into the lane. Tries a runner. No good. Rebounded by the Lakers. Around the back. Back, back, around again. Back and forth we go. And a little out of control. Nearly stolen, but they come up with it. Does Burr right? He gets into the lane. Contact is called. And let's see where we're going with this. It's a side out of bounds. Bounce pass into the lane. A lot of bodies flying everywhere. But they're not going to have a call there. They're going to say incidental contact. Two guys got to the same place at the same time. So that will be a Laker turnover. It's 47-41. A minute 30 to go here in the first half. Great job by the graphics and camera crew tonight. A very clear, beautiful picture. And a three-point shot is up and good. A nice step back from Christian Williams. And we're back to three. 47-44. Nearly a backcourt violation. And now a steal by the Tiburones. Up ahead is Gardner. Gardner lays it in. And it's a two-point game. Make it a one-point game. And another quick bucket on the other end by the Lakers. It's pretty again. Now it's a three-point game. 49-46. Williams, bounce pass. Layup, no good. A missed opportunity there for Bursaco. And it's coming back the other way. Here are the Lakers. Pretty gets it to the near side corner. Looks like Williams. Couple jab steps. Step back. Shot is up. No good. Aaron Williams on the miss. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Lakers. Under a minute to go, and the Tiburones have a chance to tie or come within one. At one point, they were down by as many as 11. And they've battled their way back. Williams, a three. In and out. Rebounded by the Lakers. Coming up on 30 seconds to go in the quarter and the half. Williams backs it out. We'll reset. There's the 30-second mark. 29 seconds. 14 on the shot clock. One-on-one, -on -one. Williams far away from the basket, sizing up his man, keeps the dribble alive between the legs, steps back, loses the ball, taken by the Tiburones, but there is a foul. What a lucky break for the Lakers. That was a bad possession. Really nothing happened, no offensive action at all. Williams just kind of backed it out and dribbled the clock out for the most part. And then when he went to make his move, was careless and nearly lost it. But they're going to call a foul, and it will be inbounded by Shane Pretty. Or well, they're going to say, I guess they're again in the penalty here, so Williams will be shooting. Pretty had lined up like he was going to take it out of bounds, but I guess the refs conferred with the scorer's table, and we have free throws instead. Pretty misses, excuse me, Williams misses the first. 49-46, 14 seconds to go in the half. And the second one is good. So it's now a two-possession game, which all but assures the Lakers will go into halftime with some kind of lead. And we're under 10 to go. Obviously, the Lakers know that the Tiburones are playing for the last shot here. Gets into the lane, kicks out. Three is up. No call on the charge. Another three. Quick one. And that one is also no good. And that will take us to halftime. 50 to 46. Lakers on top by four here on PBA TV.
Good defense from the Lakers, but a nice finish over the top. And the Tiburones, after the layup, have their first lead of the game. Lakers try to answer back quickly. Can't off the window, off the mark. Coming back the other way, Tiburones after the rebound. It's Williams, he hands it off. Three is up. No good, rebounded by the Lakers. 51-50, Lakers down for the first time tonight to start the third. Cross midcourt. Dribble, tries to go down low. Good catch, dangerous pass. Pretty tries a three and knocks it down. Nathan Pretty puts the Lakers back on top by two. Barones, I think something happened. Garden, ball thing, almost got a shot off and said hesitated, lost it, taken away by the Lakers and now a blocking foul is called on Gardner. The referee says he didn't get there quite in time. Good effort by Gardner on the defensive end. Good heading play, didn't sulk after the turnover. But call does not go his way, 53-51. Pretty hands it back. Nathan Pretty out there for the Lakers. A three is up, and that one is an air ball out of bounds by Jatuan Williams. Partially deflected, so it will stay Laker basketball. 53-51. Ball is bounced past in. Good move running across the lane by Ubersin. He gets it over, and a cut to the basket leads to a foul. After the quick pass from the big man, nice play. Get a couple of free throws coming up. 51. Williams makes these free throws. We can cut it up. Not the first one that was out. That's the thing we can do on this trip anyway. Let's cut it to the one. Williams does. Good pressure defense being applied here by Gardner. 
break it. Pretty attack the circle. It's a bad pass taken by Gardner. Gardner back the other way, it's two on two. Gardner throws up an alley-oop. The running layup attempt is no good by McCormick, and here come the Lakers. We'll finish our story in a second. As Burrite can't get it to go, offensive rebound put back up and good. Nice strong move by Overseen and the Lakers. Tim Duncan might be known as the master of the bank shot today, but if you do a little homework and go back and watch some video on Sam Jones and listen to some older guys talk about him who might have seen him play, Sam Jones was the originator of the bank shot, the ultimate bank shot. So that uh, bank shot miss, maybe a little watching of Sam Jones could uh, fix that in the future. An all-time great NBA Hall of Famer, 10-time NBA champion, multiple-time All-NBA first team member, great player, Sam Jones dead at the age of 88. So Christian Williams back here makes that one. It's now 56-55. I thought the Lakers had 58. But let's see if the score adjusted after the uh, lead layup earlier. But either way. After a bad pass, and now are we gonna have an offensive foul? We do, it's a charge. So after a bad pass, Abusi was able to get back into the picture and draw that charge. Good job by him not giving up. And it stays 56 all. Lakers with the ball. The ball game three is up. Short, rebounded. Off the front of the iron by the Tiburonzi. They come into the front court. Reaching foul, probably, yes. It was an obvious one by Williams. Got a little careless, a little impatient, and really had no chance at the ball there. So that was an obvious reach right in front of the official. So Gardner will inbound it for the Tiburones. Good pressure defense being applied. like he went out of bounds off the Lakers. This side out of bounds. Shot clock was winding down. He was not in any hurry, was Christian Williams. And that's a avoidable turnover from the Tiburones. We'll see if it factors in later, as it's still a tie game. So anything can happen. 5.40 to go in the third. Bounce pass into the lane. Spin move. Hook shot, no good. Up the court, nice play, and a good play by, I believe that was It's 58-56 after that breakout layup. And we're gonna have free throws. They will be late and pretty shooting these free throws. He's made a couple of big shots today. He's trying to draw his Lakers even. This one is good. Stoppage in play. Drones. 
five to go, 60 to 58 here on PBA TV. Take back to the court. Gary Yates here with you on PBA TV. 60 to 58. footer short rebound comes back to the shooter and then taken away from behind here come the Tiburones into the offensive zone good move up and under nice use of the body by Brown and it looks like he's going to draw some contact we'll see if it was in the act say out of bounds on the sidelines we'll see but it's 51 
sorry, 61.58. Clock ticks down to 3.30 change. 3.17 is where this clock is bled to before it stops for free throws as the first one is good from Brown. 61.59. I know about disagreeing with the officials. It never works, ever, not one time. So just don't do it. It's <laughs> 61-60. Post up, bad pass into the post, and you can see they were upset about it. Here come the Lakers on the steal, and it is Manny Avila who is not happy with the placement of that post pass. And you can't blame him. It was not a good pass. Led the Lakers to a steal opportunity, but they weren't able to capitalize. Now it's going to head back to the Tiburones after the miss and the count out of bounds. So it's 61-60. Tiburones with a chance to take the lead here late in the third. 2.50 to go in the third. Brown. Looks like he's going to dribble up his own knee there. Yeah. To the lane, tries it off the glass, and good! What a play from Williams! 63-60. Into the lane, double clutch, runner no good, ball tipped, taken down low. They gotta get out of there quickly. And not only they say 3.3 second violation. And you could see that, I believe it was McCormick, knew after the rebound he had to get out of there fast. And there was just a lot of traffic. He couldn't quite make it. His foot was still on the back part of the paint, and the ref called him on it. And he knew it, too. The rule I've often said as the Lakers set up here that I believe was a nice baseline fader, and that was a good shot. But I've often said that that three-second rule I think is very disruptive to basketball. I understand its purpose as a long three is up and no good. But something that you spend so much time, I think, thinking about when you're playing, it's almost disruptive to the natural flow of play. So I don't know, maybe it should be five seconds or six seconds. I don't, I don't know how you adjust it, but it, it is a rule that I think is like less than ideal as a breakaway uh, layup attempt by the Lakers after the make by the to their own answer from the Lakers. So baskets back to back. defense from the Lakers and ends with a foul there. I'll tell you what, that was a nice individual move on the block. Catch who it was. Might have been Collins. But either way, nice move. The Avila. Banks a free throw off the window. Hey, in honor of Sam Jones, right? Whatever works. Sets the shoulders. Makes the second. So what happens now? 67-62. Five points. I'm sorry, 
five point game, one minute, five seconds. Three by Ahmed, he'll try it and make it. Nice shot, and it's back to eight. Tries a three instead, and Williams makes the three. Good adjustment from Williams, reading the room, so to speak, and it's a 73-62 game. Lakers match their largest lead of the night. 15 seconds to go on the shot clock, so about a five to, no, more like a seven or six second differential shot game clock. It's the lane. And a quick deflection, Amen gets it up ahead for Burright. Burright breaking away, blocked from behind. And it wasn't Burright that was blocked. Let's see who got blocked. But it was a good hustle defense. It was Williams who got denied. But the Lakers will keep the ball. Great hustle defense by the Tiburones. Fadeaway three by Williams is good. But he said they say he stepped out of bounds. That's a tough one. It was a nice shot for Williams. And that will do it for the third quarter at 73-62 here on PBA TV. All right, fourth quarter coming up. Gary Aid here on PBA TV. Lakers and Tiburones. Lakers up 11 with the ball. Tiburones had a good quarter in the third, but the last couple minutes they kind of fell apart. And after what looked like a steal there, they're going to say there was some foul play. A little reach, perhaps. And it's 73-62. Lakers trying to get it in. Pretty tries to get it in, and it goes out of bounds. Tipperones did a good job on defense. They say they should have had the ball, but they don't. Williams gets it in for Pretty. Pretty protects the ball with his body. Defense right there. Screen coming, trying to create space. Can't do it. Good defense from the Tiburones. Back to Williams. Williams using the body. Attacking, getting to the rim. Lays it off the glass. No good. Ball tipped in the air. Taken by the Tiburones. Here they come the other way. It's Gardner. One-on-one. -on -one. Gardner loses the dribble. Gets it back. And they're going to call a reach-in foul, I believe, on Pretty. So Gardner will inbound from in front of the Laker bench. His team down by 11. 9.30 to go, a little under 9.30 to go in the game. Gardner gets it in the post. And the aggressive move to try to jump the pass does not pay off, which leads to the uncontested lane for Gardner. So it's 73-64. Pretty using that shoulder a little bit to try to shield off the defender. And he's unable to do so. to get the steal either way. And Pretty forced to foul. I believe this is going to be, they say Laker basketball. Looked to me like it should have been their own basketball. But Pretty will inbound it. Gets it in for Burray. Burray trying to protect it away from Williams, gets it to the post. Aaron, uh, Aaron Williams now. Aaron Williams tries a quick little turnaround, rattles it in and out, and on the tip, it's good. Nice follow, and good tip in by the Lakers. It's back to 11. Again, equal in their largest lead of the night. Ball fake into the lane, gets up with a floater, it goes in, but I believe it's gonna be, are they gonna count it as an N1? I believe they are, yes, okay, good play for the Tiburones. It is Steve Wooten Jr. with that basket looking for more on the conventional three-point play. Can't get it, leaves it short. 75-66, goes out of bounds. Say last touched by the Lakers. Christian Williams, directing traffic for the Tiburones. 
try a three. And knock it down. Nice play from Christian Williams, excuse me, all by himself there. And it's back to a six point game. Burwright spins into the lane, tries to kick it out. They're gonna say there was some contact there. Let's see the call. Give it to the Lakers. Williams, there it is. Hands off for Pretty. Nathan Pretty has it stripped and taken away. Clean steal. Here come the Tiburones into the front court. They got numbers. Lobbing for Gardner. Catches, but is not in position to finish. And we have a foul, I believe, on Pretty. Gardner sets himself. <laughs> 75 69 is the score. Gardner makes the second. Down to five. 75 70. In, trying to make a move. Nice move in the post. Gets a block from behind. Taken away though, and here come the Tiburones. Williams wide open for three. No good. Ball is tipped in the air. Taken by the Lakers. Good strong rebound, and now a pass out for Shane Pretty, who gets it into the front court. Aaron Williams. Williams attacking, going to the rim, laying it up on the window. Can't get it to go. He'll head to the line. Good, strong, aggressive move from Aaron Williams. And it's 75-70. Otherwise, so after pretty much a perfect first half for free throw shooting, both teams have missed a few free throws here in the fourth. Lakers are up five. Williams makes it six with the second free throw. In a game in which both teams have had leads, although the Tiburones just briefly, as that one is dribbled off a, a leg. I believe it was kicked by Williams. So it'll be Laker basketball. But more or less, the Lakers have been a better team so far. They've led for longer stretches and by larger margins. And with that six point lead right now with the ball. Galloping across midcourt is Williams. Explodes into the lane, passes it off, and a blow layup at point blank range. Oh, that's a tough miss. Here come the Tiburones back the other way. Attacking his Brown into the lane, lays it up off the window. What a play from Derek Brown, and he'll head to the line. Oh man, what a beautiful touch off the top of the backboard. And Derek Brown, heading the free throw, can cut this to a one possession game, although he looks tired. So Derek Brown gets it to go. I'll tell you what. That was a hell of a shot. Now a steal back the other way, and it's a one-point game. Oh, what a turn of events. First it was Brown on the end one, now Wooden on the steal and finish, and suddenly that six-point lead from 12 seconds ago is one. Now some pressure defense being applied. You can feel the momentum shifting. You can feel the energy with the Tiburones. They're trying to capitalize. Pretty tries a three. No good. Tiburones rebound. It's 76-75. Williams kicks it out for Gardner. Gardner gets it around to the side. Three-pointer is up and good! And it's a lead for the Tiburones, their largest of the game, if you can believe that. 78-76, under six to play. Into the front court. A crossover dribble by Pretty, and he can't get the three. In fact, it's an air ball. Here comes the Tiburone offense. Williams kicks it out. Gardner for the corner three. Bounces up, no good. Rebounded by Pretty. Here they come across the timeline, the Lakers trying to get back to even or 
back ahead with a three. Pretty back behind the back pass over to Burright. He attacks the rim. Nice move into the lane by Burright. Can't get it to go. The tip, though, is good. It's good second effort from Burright. And we're back to even. Hey, Jeremy Burright, Burright has not played a lot of minutes, but he's been very active and involved when he's been on the court. That was a nice play by him. First attack in the basket, and then finishing up his own miss with the tip in. Tiburones. Trying to retake the lead they had briefly for one possession. Step back is up. Off the front of the iron, no good. As the shot clock expired. So the Lakers have this game tied. They've been up by as much as 11 at different points in this game. Aaron Williams gets to the rim. Is grabbed on the wrist. Tried to fight it up anyway. Couldn't get it quite to the rim. And they're going to say... I'm going to say Tiburon's basketball. It looked to me like Williams was really grabbed, but they're going to say no call. And the Lakers will have to settle for defense. 78-78, under five to go. Good bounce pass down low. Good fake, good finish. Tiburon's back up by two. Eighty-seventy-eight. 78. Strong move down low, no good. Rebounded by the Lakers and stepping out of bounds, trying to get it to Ahmed in the corner. So it will be a Laker turnover. Good hustle, but Fulp was not able to stay in bounds. Four minutes and one second remaining in regulation. And the way this game is going, gang, this could be an overtime type of game. It's 80 to 78. Lakers down by two. One thing that's been interesting about this game is both teams have been much more effective in the front court, I mean, I'm sorry, in the open court and then behind the three-point line than they have been in half-court offenses. Half-court offenses, for the most part, have been a struggle for both teams. And we've seen it a little bit better in the second half, but both teams have made their bones today in transition and from behind the three-point line. Here's Williams, fishing around. Pulls up from about 16, it's long. Offensive rebound by Wooden, blocked by the Lakers. Goes back out to the Tiburones, and there's a scrum on the floor. And I believe they're gonna call a jump ball here. Quick dry up of the floor. Misses badly. Uh, check that. It was pretty. Excuse me. Pretty on this. Williams gets it for Gardner. Gardner lines up a three and knocks it down. Big late three for Sean Gardner. And the Tiburones have their largest lead of the night. Up five. 83-78. Lakers have led most of this game. But right now down by five. Williams has his shot blocked. and never went out of bounds. And the Tiburones... The Tiburones Tiburones, excuse me, coming the other way. The runner is good. Good heads up play from the Tiburones, who didn't let it go out of bounds. Williams thought it was going out of bounds, so he kind of put his hands up, and the Tiburones come away with a basket. Now up seven. Amen, trying to make something happen, and all of a sudden you can feel the Lakers maybe pressing a little bit. Still plenty of time, but got to get moving. Down seven. Williams, tax. Up and under. No good. Rebound in the lane. And they're going to say a foul on the floor. So it's 
One on one, driving the lane, getting to the cup, no good. Ball is tipped, it might have been tipped by the Tiburons, but it goes in. Not sure who will get credit for the basket, but either way, the Lakers do get credit for the basket, so it should be 85 to 80. That's the score of Ward adjusts. Game clock seems to have stalled too. We'll get an eye on that as a lay-in is good by Wooten. So now it should be 87-80. And a bad shot from the Lakers ends up with Amen. There you go. It should be 87-80 here. Apologize for the technical difficulties here at the end here. Looks like we're getting some pixelization and some noise. Not sure what exactly is happening, to be perfectly honest. We're going to take a quick time out and hopefully come back with the conclusion of this one here on PBA TV. Alright, we are back. Sorry about that. After a quick technical delay, it's 87, should be 87.80, I thought. But the Tiburones right now trying to finish this game out. Bodies everywhere around midcourt. Signal Laker basketball. So the Lakers inbound and leave from the near side. Eighty seven seventy eight. Trying to make something happen. Spin move. Good defense. Tough shot. No good. Ball comes out. Comes out to the Tiburones. Here they go. Two on two. Gardner gets to the lane. Blocked from behind. Follow up by Wooden. No good. Gets it again. No good again. And it's caromed off their rebound. But it looks like we're going to have a foul. Timeout. Clock's ticking down to 154 and counting. Let's see where they're gonna bleed this to. Bleed it down to 101. That's an adjustment on the earlier technical difficulty. So getting this uh, scoreboard situation corrected. Good job by our technical crew here. Lakers on the timeout. They have one remaining. 87-78. 101 to go. And it's amazing when you watch this game. The Lakers really, if this was boxing, they'd win by a decision, even if they lose the last round, which would be the fourth quarter, because they've been winning every other round before this. But it's not boxing, it's basketball. You can win in the NBA anyway, 48-minute game. You can win... 47 and two-thirds minutes, but if you lose the last third of seconds, you can lose the game. And that's what's happening here for the Lakers. Down by seven after leading most of the game, and now a turnover. They've just fallen apart here in the fourth. And barring something crazy in the last 50 seconds, the Tiburones are going to win this one after coming back from being down almost the whole game. And they do get in the way. The layup is good and won for Wooten and pending a uh, collapse here. I don't even see how it could happen. The Tiburones are going to win this game. Up by 11. Their largest lead of the night equals the largest lead of the night by either team. And now it's 12. So that is the largest lead of the night by either team. And the clock ticks down under 30 seconds. Shot clock is Leaf turned off. That goes out of bounds. And that should probably about do it. Um, there's some questions on the game clock here. How much time actually left. I'm going to say that 20 seconds is correct. And now the Tiburones could really just dribble this out. Lakers playing defense down till the end here. But I believe this will do it. A little wrap around. The three is up. Ball bounces around, no good. Still hustling on the Tiburones. Williams now will dribble back out. He'll 
not take a shot, so that will that will do it. That is the game. So the Tiburones come all the way back, and they do adjust the score. So it is 92-84. But either way, the Tiburones won this game late in the fourth quarter. Back to talk about it after this here on PBA TV. All right, welcome back to PBA TV. Gary Aid with you. The Tiburones come back and win this one by a final of 92-84 after trailing by as many as 11 points at various times in the game. So a real late comeback by the Tiburones. They finished the game strong. I'll tell you something. When you look at this, uh, when you look at this squad, you have a lot of guys on this team that you really like. I mean, watching this game. For the Tiburones, you love the way that Wooten and Brown really attack, both attacking the rim and also attacking in transition, really putting pressure on the transition defense of the Lakers all night. And then you have, of course, the veteran Sean Gardner, who's just a fluid, solid, smooth player. Great job, great win for the Tiburones tonight all the way around. And we will have more games throughout the week here on PBA TV. Once again, the final score, Tiburones coming back against the Lakers. Down by as many as, as 11, down late, and coming back to win by 6. 92-84, excuse me, by 8. 92-84 was the final score. This has been a presentation of PBA TV. For our entire crew here, I'm Gary Aid saying so long. We'll see you next time here on PBA TV.